Hi, this is Ty from Oasis Auto. Today I want to show you how to install our custom fit seat cover for a Toyota Tacoma. The entire installation process might take up to two hours, but when you install it, please have some patience. Make sure you install them correctly. This way the seat covers will fit on there nicely and it will look great. First part is to install the front seat covers. The front seat cover are break into three parts. Uh, one is the headrest, backrest, and the bottom cushion. The first step is remove the headrest. Once you have the headrest removed, now you are ready to put the cover on the backrest. Just make sure that you grab the correct side. For the passenger side, there will be an opening on the cover close to the door for the side airbag. Same thing for the driver's side. This way you can tell which side is the left, which side is the right. Once you figure that out, you want to hover this piece right over the cover like this. Once you put the cover on, this is how it's supposed to look in the front. Now let's move to the back. On the back of the front seat, there will be a fabric piece right over here. You want to release that fabric piece by releasing the two elastic band. Basically, you want to push it in and release it. Okay. The elastic band I'm talking about is this right over here at the tip. What you want to do is you basically want to push it forward to release it and lower it. Once you do that, you can fold this right under our seat covers. Now the next step would be pushing these three pieces through right in between the backrest and bottom cushion. You can just push it through like this and then pull it from the other side. Once you push them through, this is what it looks like. You just have to pull them out on the other side and there should be three pieces. Pull all three pieces out, remove the Velcro protector and then connect the Velcro at the bottom and you're all set for the backrest cover. Now let's move to the cover for your bottom cushion. Basically you want to push this through right in between your backrest and bottom cushion and you also will, while you're pushing this through, you will push these two white strings through and three female clips. Once you push them through, in the front there will be three straps and these straps will go underneath the seat, connect on the male part at the bottom of your seat like this now basically you just want to push the tip the tip of the covers through and you can pull it from the other side once you put the bottom cover on this is how it's supposed to look push them through make sure they fit nicely next step would be throw these three straps underneath the the seat and pull them to the back and connect on the female part on the back on the back you will have the two white string what you want to do is you want to pull them tight and tie them up also you will have three straps three female and three male part part you want to connect them and pull it make sure it's tight at the bottom of your seat once you connect all three and tie up those two white strings you're all set for your bottom cushion now let's move to the rear seat first you want to install the cover for your backrest pull the bottom out and on the 60 side, which is a little bit harder because of the seat belt, what you want to do is you want to loosen this bolt so you can take your seat belt out. Uh, the seat belt is going to go through here. Basically, you're going to put the seat belt out through this hole and take them out. Now, make sure you grab the piece for your backrest cover. This is what it's supposed to look like. Um, basically, you want to push these through this hole in the middle. So this way, you can still use the seat belt after you install our seat covers. Uh, it's gonna be a tight fit, but you can squeeze everything in there, no problem. Next step is to have this lever go through the, the cut right on top. And then you want to make sure that all these nylon straps, you pull them out and you want to put the holes for your headrest first to give your back cover a form. Just repeat that for the whole side and then put the whole cover on it. Once you put on the backrest cover, this is how it's supposed to look in the front. And on the back, uh, basically you want to push these through right in between the bottom, right over here and then pull them out, connect it, pull them tight. There will be a third one in the middle. Uh, make sure they are all tight. One thing you have to remember is that 
on these, right, you will see this white string. There should be two of them. Basically, both of them are at this corner. You want to pull them out. Once you pull on this white string, it will give the seat cover a better contour. Basically, you pull it so it will be tight over here on the edge so it will not be loose. Once you pull them tight, you want to tie up these two white strings so the whole edge is going to be tight after you install it. The cover for your bottom cushion is very similar to the top cushions. Basically, you want to put this whole cover right on there and then at the bottom of your bottom cushion, you want to connect all the nylon straps. Once the cover is on, basically you want to tie up all the nylon straps and uh, also these white strings. Basically you want to pull it so it will give the edge of the front over there at the bottom a better form. You want to pull it tight, make sure they're nice and neat, and then you want to tie up these two white strings. And this will be height at the bottom of the bottom cover so nobody can see it. You will also notice some of these elastic band, right? These elastic band, you could tie them up with each other. You could use a zip tie or a rope to have them all tied up. So this way it will give your seat a better form. We also supply some of those small metal hooks. You can have the metal hooks hook on each other or you can grab one of the hooks, hook on, on one side, hook on the elastic band, the other side on any other spot that you seem fit, maybe on the other side. But I would suggest you to basically tie it yourself or use a zip tie or, or a rope to tie all of them up. This way it will give you a better form. Once you tie up everything, make sure they fit nice and then just put your seatbelt, the bolt back on there at the bottom and you're all set for the back. Next step would be for your headrest. When you put the cover for the headrest on there, uh, at first glance, it might look like it's too small. But if you spend some time pulling it, pull it further, same thing over here, and then connect the Velcro, eventually it will be a tight fit. So there should be no problem. 